Yeah. It's always so, good to get methylfolate. The di- there's different kinds, right? So there's yeah. the synthetic form and then there's the folic acid. Yeah, yeah is the synthetic form okay. of folate, right? Their body has a harder time converting it into its active form because they have these different gene mutations. Every single person has two copies of the MTHFR gene. You get one from your mom, one from your dad. A healthy combination would be two normal copies. But there are a couple types of gene mutations that you can get. So your mom might give you one version. Your dad could give you one version. Or you could get only one gene mutation from your mom and a normal copy from your dad. Mm. Or you can get two of the same type of gene mutation. It's a lot of different combinations. So depending on the combinations that you get from your parents, it can have different effects on you. So for instance, if you have none of MTHFR gene mutation, your body has no issue processing synthetic folic acid. It was like a majority of the population has no issue processing folic acid. Mm -hmm. And so eating things like bread or pasta or whatever it might be with refined flour, it's not going to bother them or have effects. Mm -hmm. It actually could have a positive effect because like you said, we need folate. But let's say you have one of the gene mutations. You can process it, but your body is less effective in converting it into its active Mm -hmm. form. And so you're not getting its full effects. It can also Um, mask vitamin B deficiency when you have these gene mutations. So Mm. there's some negative things that can happen because then you end up getting a buildup of unmetabolized folic acid in your body. Why is there so much folic acid in the American diet? In the milling process of flour, they noticed that it was stripping a lot of the nutrients. And so a solution that they came up with was to fortify Mm -hmm. the flour, to enrich it. And so they were adding minerals and vitamins back into it. So for folic acid, they were using this synthetic form because it's much more stable in the process. The amount of babies born with neural tube defects did decrease. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, oh, this has a positive effect. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. we'll continue to produce this. This is how we're going to continue to Mm -hmm. refine our flours. For like 60%, majority of the population, this is actually a good thing. It's harmless. But then you get right. into 30% probably have one gene mutation. About 10% right. have that really bad combination, mm-hmm. like I was saying earlier, mm-hmm. of double. Mm-hmm. So for some people, this is causing a right. lot of issues, but they they don't even know yeah. why. Right. 